Hey everybody, I showed you some of my resin geodes on my Facebook channel on YouTube. So I've had a few people ask me to do a video. These are silicone mats you can buy off Amazon. This is regular 100% silicone. You can get at Lowe's. I pre-do my designs, my patterns, and just leave it like this. I notice that there it's coming loose, so I'm going to not use that one today. We'll re-silicone that one later. This one's good, and this one's good. This is great for jewelry. After you do your silicone on here, take a stick, cut it flat, and then go like this around the edge. And that way you won't have to sand and all that your geode when you're done. Makes it a lot easier. I only have a little resin left, so I'm going to do this one. And if I have any left, I'll do a couple of necklaces. This is some of the geodes I've done. Today I'm going to do a blue one. I haven't done a blue one yet, so the resin I use is this. You get a hardener and the resin. Be sure and always wear gloves. It's very messy and hard to get it off your hands. The way I measure is I take one of these in a bigger cup. I fill up this with water about to the top and I put it in here. Then I mark it. Put some in the smaller cup. I mark my water level. Pour it in the cup. Mark my water level in the bigger cup. Fill it back up. Fill it up to that level in the smaller cup that you marked. Put it in there. Mark your cup again, pour it out, dry your cup really good. When you're done, you got two marks on your cup. That's how much you put of each one. It's one part one, it's one part, one part. So that's the hardener. You stir it and you have to stir it for quite a while. So I will skip this process. See how it gets real cloudy? I'll stir it until it's clear. With this resin, there's no fumes. You don't need to wear a mask. It doesn't get hot. It stays soft long enough to give you time to work with it pretty good. So I like it. And it's um, a little less expensive than the others. It's the only part I don't like about it, stirring this stuff up. It's thick and it's a little rough on the wrist. Now, the reason that's still cloudy, it's air bubbles. But that's mixed pretty good. I'm gonna pour a little bit in this cup. And I'm going to add some black sand to it. This is going to be my outer rim. This is going to go right here. And with that, I'm going to add some, this stuff is so sticky. I'm going to add some glitter to my black sand. That's the glitter. It's black. I'm going to add a little silver. So I've added black glitter and silver glitter and just enough resin to get my sand wet. You can use red sand, beach sand, and just add glitter to it to give it some body. I don't worry about getting this on my countertop. This is quartz. Nothing sticks to it. Don't worry about getting it inside. Over here we can wipe that off. Just want to really pretty thin layer right here like the shell of the rock, the outside of the rock. These take 24 hours to dry. I 
I have quite a bit left, so I'm going to put some in one of my molds. I got these leaf molds. I'm going to put it in the leaf molds. The resin should settle on the bottom, and we'll see how this does. My sand might be a little too thick for these molds, I don't know. This is what these look like after they dry. That's the resin floating to the top. I don't think it's going to do the same effect on the black. I'm going to do some of them in black. I love the way they come out. I use less Let's Resin Alcohol Ink Blue. When you poke a hole in these, they squirt everywhere. So you need to do it over a trash can. That's how they squirt. So be careful where you do these inside. I'm going to do three drops. I'm going to do some powder. Putting the clear right here will push the iridescent up against the black. That makes sure my, red, my silicone is pushed down flat everywhere. It was up in one spot. You want to use your heat gun to get out all your air bubbles? This is just regular black acrylic paint. Go around, get right in the middle of the drip. All done. We'll let all this dry and I'll show it to you tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed. These didn't come out too hot. I don't like them. These came out really pretty. That was this mold. I'm going to take this out of the mold. It's still curing, but it's hard enough to come out of the mold. There is a geode. You'll sand off this and the shiny will come out where we put the, the black rock.